Hello everyone, you are welcome to New Face Entertainment where you will get reliable and authentic news that will keep you informed and entertained. I say a very big thank you to everyone who has been part of this channel and who has taken time to subscribe and if you are here to subscribe, please click the red subscribe button and also hit the bell icon for notifications so you will always get alerted anytime we publish latest news or any of our other upload hello beautiful people welcome back to new face entertainment assassination police arrest escort staff of okoloyu for interrogation the Oyo state police command friday morning said that two police escorts attached to a popular yoruba arba manufacturer alaji fatai yusuf killed by some unknown gunmen on thursday are being questioned at the homicide section of the state criminal investigation department scid Yangonku ibadan the command and a statement signed by its public relations officer Mr. Ulubenga Fadei also revealed that some staff of the deceased, apart from the two armed escort of policemen, were being questioned by a team of crack detectives from the homicide section of State Criminal Investigation Department. Recall that Fatah Yusuf, a tribal medical expert, was on tours killed by unknown government whose identity has not been revealed as of the time of filing this report. Yusuf, who is also known as Okoloyun, was shot while on his way from Abeokuta in Ogun State to Ishenyi in Oyo State. Fadei, in the statement in Ibadan, said that the Commissioner of Police, Mr. Shino Olukolu, seizes the opportunity to appeal to any member of the public with credible information not to hesitate in passing some same to the Oyo State Police Command to assist in the detection of the crime and apprehension of the offenders. It maintained that the two escorts and the staff were being questioned with a view to finding and apprehending the fleeing suspects who wrecked the heinous crime. While giving more insight to the killing, Fadi said that a report was received by the Divisional Police Officer Ibuora that around Akeruru area in the Abekuta Ibuora Ishenyi Road, the two car convo of the deceased was ambushed shortly after passing through five different police stops and such ten teams along the route. He added that a two-man armed escort of policemen protecting the disease engaged the assailant, but that the assailant managed to escape back into the forest after a single shot had hit the disease, who died later of his bullet injuries. Father he said the commissioner of police or your state police command, CP Shino T. Olukolu wishes to pull the record straight on the most unfortunate death of Alhaji Fatah Yusuf, aka Okoloyu, on Thursday, 23rd January 2020. A report was received by the Divisional Police Officer DPO Ibora that around Akeruru area on the Abelkota Ibora Ishenyi Road, the second car convoy of the disease was allegedly ambushed shortly after passing through five different police top and search teams along the route but by yet to be identified assailant who fired at the moving vehicle on the road from the thick forest. The two armed escorts of the policemen protecting the disease engaged the assailant but they managed to escape back into the forest after a single shot had hit the disease who died later of his bullet injuries. However, an interesting twist to the story was that the disease probably had earlier detected an alleged book keep recordings fraud in this Lagos office, which subsequently allegedly led to the burning destruction of some financial book keeping records. In addition to other possible motives, a plausible nexus is therefore being suspected between the fire incident and the attack on the deceased. 
Meanwhile, some of the staff and its two police escorts were being questioned by a team of crack detectives from the homicide section of State Criminal Investigation Department, SCID Yagonku Ibadan, with a view of finding and apprehending the fleeing suspect who wrecked the heinous crime. The Commissioner of Police Therefore, seizes this opportunity to appeal to any member of the public with credible information not to hesitate and pass the same to the Ohio State Police Command to assist in the detection of the crime and apprehension of the offenders, while at the same time assuring members of the public that the police is on top of the situation and working with other police, informi other police formations units to ensure that the directive of the Inspector General of Police, IGP MA Adamo, and PM MNN to crack this case as quickly as possible is compiled with to the letter. In addition, it is our resolve that no matter how long it takes, the Commissioner of Police promise to bring the culprit to justice within the shortest possible period. Wow, this is really sad and unfortunate. Alaji Fatai Okolonyo is a very popular herbal tradu medical practitioner. He's one of those that have really taken tradu medicine to a very high um, state status in the country. It's really quite unfortunate. This really is showing some of the uh, necessity for having a, 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 a an effective security in every part of the country, particularly in the southwest. This happened in the southwest. We're talking of Amatokun. Amatokun has been going all around all this while that why Amatokun is illegal, Amatokun is not illegal, and all that. What is the function of Amatokun if not to arrest situations like this? We know, uh, like the story said, they have passed five police stop. Those five police stop, what do you think they are doing? Are they checking around? Do we have any, any way of checking around the bushes? They're just there on the road extorting the people, you know, and maybe luckily if they come in contact with people that are carrying um, contraband um, goods or items, then that's when the police comes in. But aside from that, what happens is that what they normally do at this checkpoint is just to collect, uh, bribe and extort the, the, the drivers or the commuters on that road. But what about the bushes all around? What is going on? What is the security all about? Is this the security on just to collect, to make sure that people are not carrying contraband? What about on the bush? If they, go to, if they, if they are getting close to the, to, the, to, to, to the checkpoints and they drive through the bush and they bypass the checkpoint, that is it. There is no way of checking around what is happening in the bush, who, and who is there, what are they doing there, are they farmers, are they headsmen, are they bandits, are they assassins, are they criminals, nobody knows about all this. So we have so many of these bushes that we have on the, on, on the highway, beside the highways, and no, nobody cares about it, the security is not taking any any investigative approach to it to know what is happening there and even the people living in the community like that is not too far because some of these bushes are quite f not too far from the people nobody is checking it but if we have a security outfit that is of the neighborhood that is of more concern about not just as in not just to be on the road blocking the road and collecting some 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 peanuts here and there but to care about the lives of the people this is what we've been talking about having is an effective security Amotokun may if Amotokun is for me if Amotokun is going to be following just the lay down uh, way of um, security protection with the way the police are doing it is of zero it is it is of zero okay because when we're talking about in terms of security now we should know what is happening in that thick forest mind you in the story that they came out and they started shooting they came out from the thick forest and went back into the thick forest there is no way there is no there is no no police you can you can call at that moment that can fish these people out 
within how far could they have gone? How far could they have run if you call the police and the police immediately they storm this forest? If it is the left they ran into, you storm the left side of the, of the road. Within 30 minutes, if the police arrive, they can see fish these people out. But that is not the case here. So what? It's really a sad situation to lose somebody like this. And look at what is happening. In his, his, they said it's happening, allegedly happening in, the, in, in his Lagos office. Somebody is trying to play around with the accounts. It's really unfortunate. It's really unfortunate. We do hope they're going to find out and dig out of the perpetrators of this heinous crime and those who mastermind the whole. And I trust our Nigerian police, they are good at that. But let us also be good at prevention, not at good at getting those that have committed the crime. Let us be good at detecting. Let us be good at preventing. It is the prevention that they say is better than cure. We are only so good. We every time we we acclaim them for for being with the little they have, they are able to to fish out uh, perpetrators of so many heinous crimes that you can't even imagine how they they, they 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 figure it out. But what about using that same creativity to prevent crimes? When you know that this road is a lonely road, what are the what are the measures? What are the things that are put in place so that when people pass through that road, they are not entering into danger? These are the things I would think Amotekun should be thinking about. Amotekun is going to should have to be proactive. Everything, security uh, issues has to be proactive. If you are not proactive, then you are only just coming out to be caring. Prevention, they say, is better than cure. So I think that is what should be our focus. It's not just about like, uh, okay, Amotekun will be getting fund from the federal government. Amotekun will be getting fund from the state government. The funds, what's going to happen after the funds? If they don't get the funds, whatever, wherever the fund is coming from, what is going to happen? Is it the structure, just the boss, the, the, the vans that, that is being given to them, the uniform, the guns and all that? What about the other initiative, the intelligence? What about those prevent preventive measures? Like you, you make sure that everybody here, we know who is who, we know who is coming, we know who is in the bush, we know who is in the water, we know who is at home, we know who is at work. We know all this, all this can be traced. Not to talk of, you know, the Southwest that is full of thick forest. This is the forest zone that has so many thick forests, and that's why some of these criminals, some of these perpetrators of this evil can run into the bush and you'll never find them because nobody is even thinking about like these bushes, how do we make sure that people that are going through this road, people that are living close to these bushes or this forest, they are safe. <sighs> Is a really a sad one. A sad one. I've known. Uh, is a sad one. Is a sad one to the, to the Yoruba uh, land indeed. Please leave a comment in the comment section. I would like to see a comment. Thank you for watching.